Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so for quite some time, March the 4th has been the penciled in date for Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury for Undisputed. Well, Frank Warren, he spoke to TalkSport and he says that that is now no longer going to be the date. They're now looking at late March or early April. Now, of course, we still don't know. Is it still going to be the Saudis? Apparently, they're waiting on an offer this week in, uh, in writing. If not, then they're going to potentially look at uh, Wembley Stadium. But regardless, late March, early April, well, you have to remember, Anthony Joshua is making his return on April the 1st, according to Eddie Hearn. Again, nothing official for that one right now. So it's going to cause a bit of a problem because... You need as many eyes and ears on this event and Anthony Joshua's event as possible. If you put them a week or two apart, it's not ideal for anybody. While here in the UK, our pay-per-views are not as expensive as they are in America, that's for sure. They're like a third of the price. People are still unhappy with pay-per-view anyway. So one of these shows is going to have to be moved a little bit apart, whether that be Anthony Joshua fights a little bit earlier or maybe a little bit later or however, okay? But either way, we know Alexander Usyk, his team said a while ago that it must be on March the 4th. That's the date. Uh, for reasons, I don't know. So is that now going to cause a problem? But also, again, you have to look at it as well, where Tyson Fury was negotiating with Anthony Joshua, telling him to hurry up and blah, blah, blah. A lot of it was because they were looking at this early March date for this undisputed fight. Looking back, maybe they could have now allowed a little bit more time because obviously now the Usyk fight isn't going to happen for quite some time away. But anyway, that said, I don't think it really matters what date is going to happen. I think a lot of people are very interested in this fight. It's undisputed. Of course, he would be. He would be. And But there again, if you're Frank Warren, if you're Bob Arum, unless you're guaranteed a set amount from the Saudis, regardless of pay-per-views, I'll probably try and move it as far away from an Anthony Joshua fight as possible. Likewise, if you're Eddie Hearn and you've got Anthony Joshua on his own, this will be his first pay-per-view on his own, wouldn't you want to maybe keep it away from the undisputed fight as far as possible? Because not everybody's going to buy both. But if you have them a little bit apart there's more chance that people will buy both, isn't there? So anyway, we'll have to wait and see exactly what's going to happen. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.